So I'm at BMFA Buck Minister with Dave Batchelor here who has now this is quite a unique model, not because it's a very impressive model of a C Vixen Dave, but you built it from a plan. Yes. Which these days is a rare thing I'd say because all of the other models that are here today are all kind of ARTF kits. Composite machines, Composite yeah. kits, right? But yeah. you are quite unique. Well, I don't know many people who do this, certainly, or don't have the skill or knowledge to do it, to build something from scratch. So could you share with us some of the features that this has, and then talk us through some of the build concepts? Sure, it's a, it's a Kerry Sterner design from the States. Um, and I was looking for a, uh, a low wing loading aircraft to build out of wood, and there's very few about. And when I saw the Civics and thought, at first I, I didn't like the look of it with the, the asymmetric canopy, but um, that grew on me and so I, so I built it. The, the model is, was designed as a what's called a 4-1, four four fighter all weather 4-1 four, four version 1. Um, and it had the, the booms were um, nestling into the, into the top of the wings. Uh, I wanted to build it as a as a four two, which this one is, um, with the, the the boom, the extended booms, and Kerry Sterner was good enough to um, to, to make the drawings for us uh, for the extended booms, and this is actually the first one in the in the world to to have the extended booms. Right. Uh, I made the the fiberglass. I made the nose cones. Um, I made the fiberglass mould and produced those because I, never, I thought I'd never get too built up out of balsa to be the same shape, the right shape and the same, same size as everything. The, uh, the design calls for the centre section to be all one piece and I knew that I was going to have trouble transporting and working in that in my workshop. Right. So I, did, I modified the design to add a split just behind the, the wings uh, where the tail comes off as one piece. And Dave, who's going to fly it in a minute, is going to provide us with some of the build pictures because it's hard to believe underneath this skin that it is totally made from balsa and, and yeah, ply. It's, it's quite a work of art. I can take the, uh, take the hatches off. So how long did it take you to build this, Dave? Well, it's about two years. <laughs> two years. And it's flown how many times? Uh, that's uh, it's about six times now. Six times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you've flown it? Yes, I've, I've I've flew it. I've flown it once here. Um, I'm not so happy with all with so many people, but uh, no. Um, yeah, I've flown it once here last year. And you enjoyed that? Yeah, it was. It was. Um, Dave said it was, you know, very much a big pussycat, and it and it really was. Okay. You know, it was, it was really Quite something. After a lot of us build a jet in like. A couple of weeks, <laughs> two years. Yeah. I can't get my head around the, the kind of the, the how you must feel after. Yeah. Well, my knees are shaking it. on the uh, on the ta on Dave's first takeoff of, on its maiden. Yeah. Um, but he flew it impeccably, and uh, it uh, yeah worked fine. So why don't you show us some of the features that a scale model C Vixen would have over uh, other scale models that we'd see here today? Well, the um, it's got a working air brake on the on the underside. Right. Um, Where will I best see that from the front uh, from or the back? From the front. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. It's two stages. And you use that on the on the pr the last six flights. Yes, it's not. It's more. It's more there for decoration. To okay, be it's more cosmetic. It's not, it's not for landing or anything like that. It's okay. a speed brake for uh, for slowing it down during a dive or for. And turning okay I'm with size. you right okay um, the, f the flaps on the back are a bit unusual they're, they're Fowler flaps which um, which move back oh I see and as they come down so they're um, they're not they're not just hinged at the front where they come down they actually slide out well wow, that was quite a complex mechanism to yes yeah. design then I suspect <laughs> yeah um, Yes, a lot of uh, lot of work. So, had someone else built from the plan and flown successfully, yes. or were you the first? To no, do that? no, I wasn't. I wasn't the first. Um, the prototype flew in two thousand and one, um, and it was a uh, it was a four one design where the I say where the booms 
fault uh, morph into the wings. Oh, okay. Uh, they don't have the, the protruding nose cones. Um, that won the Na American Nationals, I think, um, in 2001. Uh, I don't know anybody else who's built one over here. There's currently two or three people in the world building them. Um, a couple in the States, one in, North, in Yorkshire. Um, of course, there are no full-size sea vixens flying now, are there? No, this is this is modelled on the prototype. On the, the prototype of this was the last one that flew, and it uh, it had a gear failure uh, in 2017, coming back to its base in Yeovilton. Right. And they had two options: either fly out to sea and eject, or land with gear up. What so they, they landed on the, with the gear up on the on the runway. Of course, it did a lot of damage. I bet. Um, to the to the tanks and the underside of the of the aircraft. Um, I've been fortunate enough to go down to, to Yeovilton where the full size one is and take lots of pictures and crawl all over it. Um, the people down there at Navy Wings have been very, very helpful. So, uh, yes, it's the, the, unfortunately there's no, no full size flying sea vixens. Then they're probably not going to repair the full size because it's just too much money. I, yes. And there's, uh, there's a lack of pilots to pilot it, to fly it as well. Yeah. Um, so they would have to train somebody specifically to fly it. It's about probably between six and ten million, they reckon. Too. It's a shame, isn't it? There's a lot of these period aircraft that yeah. don't don't fly anymore for that reason. Yes. So it keeps the memory alive, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's just such an iconic shape. You know, it, it really it looks is. awesome in the air. Okay. Well, we're going to see Dave fly it now. Yep. So thanks very much for giving us some insight into this amazing two-year project okay. that you've uh, got flying Pleasure. and uh, Thank you. I'm sure everybody enjoyed that and they're going to enjoy watching it fly. Thanks again <laughs> Dave. No problem, thanks. And the sun has just come out. Okay, taking off.